the, the machine you saw is standing on top of it all. And the except the case has been taken out, and then the, the little mix of wires and circuitry are just on top of it. There's a large gem on top of the entire pile, pile, uh, pile that is spinning faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. And you can piece together, that was the vacuum cleaner you might have heard. And the woman's just staring at it, just like, I think, and she just like, at a loss for words. Can I take a guess as to what this machine does? Uh, take take a guess at what it does. What? As, as, as it's, like a it, 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 it's a gem turner machine, I guess. <laughs> it's, I mean... it's nothing that you possibly could have seen in your entire life or technological career. Okay. This is something that Tony Stark would look at and go, "What the fuck is it?" <laughs> I see. Oh, wow. All right. I'm trying to think what I can do in sort of this incredibly slow motion that would do something with this. <laughs> Is there anything else in the room? Uh, no. I mean, it's a standardly furnished apartment. Mm -hmm. Couch, TV, nightstand, bed in the other room. Okay. You know, shit like that. Okay. <sighs> All right, I'm I want I want to buy us time. I'm going to uh, at lightning speed. I want to sort of sabotage the machine in a subtle way, like cut a power line, or, or, or like you know pull a cable somewhere, like so, something that could could be like you know just okay. a, a sort of normal thing that's gone wrong rather than actual sabotage. So you're going to cut the machine. All right, uh, it's pretty easy. Everything's pretty delicate, and you break it, and it doesn't work anymore. She. He immediately goes, no, no, no. And then she gets a ping in her mind. Who's here? And she starts looking around. And e even if you're standing in complete, absolute, like, bullet time, your, your concealment, what does it affect? It's visual. Okay. All visual, but all just visual. She looks right in the area that you're in and she just goes you what are you doing here and that's when twitch leaves uh he's also gonna grab the gem as he leaves all right uh give me a fortitude gonna... save <laughs> <laughs> that's an inter that's an interesting interesting thing. That gym has been spinning at Mach twelve, and it's the center of source for this machine, and you're touching it. <laughs> can my, can my armored padded hardened reinforced gloves help me with this? Can they protect you from psychic energy? <laughs> uh, no, they cannot. Uh, there you go. There's your answer. So you t touch it, and you get. Blasted by damage rank twenty five. So damage rank twenty five. Yeah. Well, so what the like? What's this like? Crystal like glowing and shit like. Or... It is. It is glowing and pulsating. Because <laughs> twenty five like, is like being by a moon. <laughs> DC, yeah, DC twenty five will save. Oh, DC twenty five. I thought you said that. I thought you meant damage rank twenty five. So it would be DC no, forty. It's DC 10. It's a damage 10. Oh, right? Christ. So you don't take any damage, and you zip <laughs> off with the gem, and she is losing her mind. I just had a thought of if it was damage 25, he would grab it and then just turn it into a blood splat. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, you got the gem. What do you do with it? Uh, I'm fucking sprinting to go to Dwight. I'm to get to Dwight and say, we need to get the fuck out of here now. I'm not going to break Wait, around what? prison, what? but I'm going to what? rob some what random meeting. <laughs> <laughs> don't you see the irony in this? No, no I don't. There is a difference between stealing something and raking a murderer in our prison. Those are the two dramatically different magnitudes of event. No, not really. How is that not? You don't know Juggernauts kill people? Yes, I do. How do you know? 
He's in prison for him. I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, he's in prison for mass property destruction and kidnapping. <laughs> now hold on. I will also say, I think petty theft is less bad of a crime than breaking out a car you tried to kidnap a political officer. I mean, I, this isn't petty theft. This is grand larceny, because this is definitely worth some money. <laughs> also, but it's but... also an illegal item, and we are authority figures are for covering sure it's an illegal, illegal item. I'm a conspiracy. <laughs> this, you... this line of thought is what is leading me to never taking risks. <laughs> <laughs> I also want to point out Okay, that, like... okay, okay. I think the only illegal but, okay, substances okay. in the entirety so, of the Marvel what, Universe is just drugs. Alright, I got it, I got it. So, what if she's an alien, and then... <laughs> <laughs> she's trying to phone home, and you're keeping it from happening. Like, we, but <laughs> she's I, phoning I, home to the Armada! But we're taking a risk, we're seeing if it pays off. Alright, okay, so you took it, what do you do? We, do I, we need to get this somewhere safe, somewhere I can put it in a substance that it can't be tracked through. Uh, I don't know what's in it. Here, hold my hand. Hand. That was a big machine. Take my hand. Sure. Take my hand. Take okay. my hand. Take my hand. Take my hand. Okay. 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 Sure. Yeah. okay. We're out of this dimension. Okay. <laughs> you can see in the gym there is a very large crack, in it, but it's still more or less intact. Huh. So what is it? I, I don't know. It was on top of a very, a very fancy machine. Uh, the woman in the room saw me, so I just sort of... Uh, well, I say saw, they sort of... could look at me. It, it was strange. Uh, I, so I just sort of... I had, didn't have long to think. I just sort of grabbed it and ran. Could, could you give a description? What did, what did they look like? It was, it was a big server bank that was on top of it, and it was spinning. Oh, I mean the person. Oh. What if we uh, run into them again? As Twitch will sort of, you know, grab the video camera on the side of his helmet and detach it and eject the SD card and scroll back to get the you know a picture of the person from that <laughs> man where'd you get a video camera that takes 5 billion frames per second oh this is one of those slow mo cams isn't it <laughs> it, it doesn't track very well when kind of just, just looks at it and goes wait Emma that, that's where she ended up huh who? When did she get, like, that huge setup? Who? She, she's an old schoolmate. Kind of a, kind of a psychic. Left us in a little bit of a huff. I don't know what it was all about. No idea what she's been up to. Just kind of giving her space, but... I mean, now she has, like, an obviously stolen gem and was doing something weird with it. Back. Maybe it's time to go say hello. Maybe yeah, I need to do, I need to see if I can figure out what this gem is before we go any further. Ah, uh, how are you gonna do that? And now I'm gonna run through a few machines see if I can find out what it's made of. Well, I mean, I'm sure you can pull it off in an instant. Well, we'll see. Uh, let's check the rollout. What, what sort of role would this be? Because the two options I have are technology or investigation. So this, this is not technology at this point. This is more otherworldly than anything. So if you have like an arcane knowledge or something, or... Uh, if only or, you knew someone that had knowledge on the arcane. If, well, yeah. if only we knew some sort of wizard or something. Let's we only have strange. mutants in our group. <laughs> strange. Let's go meet him. No, let's uh, let's yeah, let's let's give Patrick. Yeah, what's the last time we did a load of him? Please don't talk to him. No, please. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's give Patrick a call. Given his, you know, whole and what I'm going to describe as mystic bullshit. Right. So, um, yeah, I, I guess at this point, I, because you guys literally took, like, five minutes to do all of that, I would have just been getting out of the conversation with, um, the mayor. Well, we, we were doing this quite a while. I, I, I was tailing, uh, oh. Lady Luck for quite a while, I well, believe. I did want to do one more thing then, if that's okay, Jazzy. 
Uh-huh. Um, I want to go to my sanctorum and attempt to use the water pole to see if I can find Juggernaut. You're gonna use what? Um, I'm going into my sanctorum and I'm going to use my water pool to see if I can try to find him. Is so. that your uh, your remote sensing thing? Yep. Okay. Let me just take a look at it and see what it will just. What is it aligned to? Uh, is it aligned to mutants, humans, what? I. No, no, I need to align when, it. When um, you pick remote sensing, you have to pick you have to pick something that it can sense. Um, I would. I guess reasonably it would be magic. So I guess I couldn't find Juggernaut with it. So never mind on that. Wait, Juggernaut's whole deal is he got empowered by the magical gym thing, so maybe. Possibility. Yeah, I'm gonna just try it. Okay then. So, let's see, remote sensing... Um... First, I need a perception from you. Uh, okay. See if, if you can find it, and I'm going to use the secret check. You have to beat the DC of the secrecy of the lair he's in to find him. You did not find him. The secret lair has more ranks in secrecy than, than you rolled. So. Unless you want to use a hero point. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a heal point. And... I got one high! <laughs> yeah, that... Uh, it, it, you know, it, it, it counts in increments of five, so you have to do at least plus another one before <laughs> you got a new answer. <laughs> and another one. Wait, did I get a yeah, hero point for him a... being immune to my fire thing back? Nah. Okay. Nothing really was any of your complications recently, actually. No, I mean, um, because he was immune to my fire attack. But then again, he was immune to the daggers, so never mind on that. Yeah, he, he, he took the damage of the daggers, the fire was just extra. Yeah, so... Um, okay, just kind of giving up on that, um, just kind of lounge around the, we'll go back to the X mansion wherever we're staying at, um, just kind of lounge the around. Castle. Like stronghold. Yeah, just kind of lounging around until I get the call from them. Okay. We literally come up from behind you. Hey, well. What's this? I, like, whirl around with a dagger in my hands. <laughs> um. Uh, uh the nice, nice knife there. Yes, hi. Well, you, I mean, we probably you actually shouldn't leave, use... We probably shouldn't leave the Shadow World with the gem. We should leave it in there. And stay with it. Oh, well, I have it right here in my hand. I was going to show him. Just oh, kind of okay. like wave it around casually. Oh, I was concerned about it getting tracked or something, but okay, I guess that's, that's fine. Oh, right. That would have been smart. So what is it? Um, I'm just going to look at it, and instead of me touching it at all, I'm just going to have Dwight move it around while I'm looking. Um, expertise magic? Fight develops a shadow turntable with his create power. <laughs> okay, so roll your expertise magic. 
That was a terrible roll. It, it's good enough. Okay. It's a spell that, ha it's a ritual that hasn't been enacted yet. It takes a large amount of power that needs to be pumped into it, and then the spell releases. And the spell, and you can tell that once the cycle has started, it has to be finished. Or the gem is going to break. And the, if it breaks, even worse stuff could happen. Can I tell what kind of even when, worse? If the, gem, oh. if the gem breaks and is not, uh, and it doesn't fulfill its cycle, then it bolsters someone's mutant's ability. If it does, if it goes through a cycle and doesn't break, that it removes someone's mutant powers altogether, permanently. So... Oh. So if it doesn't break, someone loses everything. If it does break, then someone gains power. Yeah. Okay. Um... Pop potato. <laughs> <laughs> You had it on the shadowy toe tape. <laughs> I take it off and then go hot potato. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, my brain's kind of totally tapping out. It's just so you know. Um. So, just kind of looking it over, I'm going to take a nice, calm, very large step backwards. Did you guys touch that? Yes. Quite a bit, actually, bringing it up here. Uh-huh. And you're still it's able to, um... Done. It's stung like a motherfucker. It's got, like, grease stains all over it from Droid's fingerprints. Uh, okay, um... And... Did, did you... Have you experienced any weird things with your shadows? Are they... Bigger? Um, have they not been working as well? They're about as weird as always, I think. Okay, um, yeah, so, um, pretty much this is a, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's some kind of spell holder that, um, can either amp up immune's powers to a large amount, or make it to where they have none at all. Um, it has to go yeah, through a process- Yeah, the last part just fell out of It has to finish going through a process before spell releases, but also something bad could happen with this only being not going through a process, so, um... So, if I get this right, Emma started the process, and it's going to finish one way or another now. I think you and should throw it in a hole. And if it doesn't break in that time, bad stuff happens. I think you should throw it in a hole. Bitch. What did it look like that much this thing? It was spinning it. It's very, very, crack. very fast. So Emma was trying to charge herself up then? It it didn't look like it was going to not break the thing by spinning it that fast. But I, don't, I don't know anything about how this stuff works. I mean, I obviously, it was, it was, it was cracked from anyone gun. else's hand. I didn't crack it. I didn't break it, to be clear. But, um... Do we... We have a time limit before this thing saps away someone's powers? Well, I... So it could just be like this forever and nothing bad will happen. Maybe? Can, uh, sorry, uh, uh, can, it be, can it be traced? Can someone track it? People well, could... Emma found it somehow. I, I just want to look at Twitch with like the blankest expression ever. Was that a serious question? So is that a yes? 
I literally have a pool in my mansion that lets me track stuff like this. Can you hide it from being tracked but like that? I can't. Um, not really one of my specialties. Mm -hmm. Could anything hide it from being tracked like that? So, um, you would have to talk to the goateed asshole. You being Dr. Strange. I like as quickly as I can, which is relatively slow compared to Twitch, I try to put my hand over your mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dr. Strange, he's really he's a really cool looking dude. I think I still got his uh portal number in here. Hold up, let me go set that up, guys. He just like starts walking towards his base's portal and is like, hmm, let's see. Recently visited ones, Shadow Realm. Oh, hell no, not there. And oh, yeah, Doctor Strange, the only other place we've ever been with this. And the portal sparks to life. Oh, let's go ask some questions. Oh, uh, okay, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, I don't want to. Um, it's for. Why don't you want to? Uh, let's just go. Come on, it's a wizard. It'll be fun. I do. If you want to think strange is fun, I like put my hand over my mouth as soon as I realize I said his name. So he uh. So you walk into his lair like you have before, and he seems to be just like sitting at a desk with his feet kicked up, reading a book. Uh -huh. He doesn't use any magic like he usually does. Yeah, Twitch just accepts and goes like, hello. Immediately when you walk in, you see his cloak snap up and start shoving you backwards. Like, you know how someone, like, puts their chest into your face and just shoves you back? That's what the cloak is doing. Clyde probably literally falls over at the slightest touch. Yeah. And, and it's, like, flexing at you, and it's pointing at you, and it's, like, cracking its, like, its knuckles, or it's, like, the edges of his cape. And then he just shakes, <laughs> he, like, starts... And goes... Oh, oh this was... Unexpected and unannounced. Is there a problem? About the same time, Bruce Banner walks out the back and walks in. Is, is, there, is everything okay in here? Bruce oh, Banner! Yes, yes. Don't, don't worry. Uh, just the X-Men came to visit. It's uh, okay. Yeah, we have, we have a, um, a problem of a, uh, well, magical nature. Uh, namely, this, this, this gem. That was uh, recently acquired and might break and uh, cause serious problems the, if it does. The gem looks like you got yourself an artifact. <laughs> well, but how did you get an artifact? Especially you. He looks over to, heart, to Hat Trick. Um, Hat Trick <laughs> is trying his best just to hide in the corner. Um. I always thought. But that magic never really came to you. But you proved me wrong, delightfully. <laughs> I... I I'm good Wait at magic. a second. It, is he your father? <laughs> no. One of my... <laughs> one of my students. Yeah, quite some time he served under me, but he wasn't able to grasp the more extended elaborate uses of magic and chose more for trivial aspects and refused to have his mind open to the vastness of what his powers could do so he just left one day that sounds like he should have studied harder i push a whoopee cushion against dwight's back ah, shot again but being bullied from two sides artifact. here something well within my years of course something i could make how did you get your hands on something like this? Oh, 
One of my former schoolmates, Emma Frost, managed to find this. It looked like she was up to something with it. So and... that's... And... This thing is actually quite dangerous for your kind. Mutants, I mean. Yeah, that, that, that's something that Hadrika yes. did tell us. Just... I guess breaking it would be quite beneficial for you. It looks like someone's already attempted. Someone at least tried to tap into the magic held within. Yeah, apparently she had this whole setup and everything. This I Twitch. A gem Wait, no, I can just pull up on my phone. <laughs> I literally just pull up my phone and like show a video image of like the setup. And now you see why your technology didn't work <laughs> before. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like she's made. She found a way to harness vast amounts of power to pump it into it. Looks like an arcane generator. 